Good day everyone, I'm Yvonne Martin and for today's video, I will be assessing you the cranial nerve assessment. Before doing this, there are things to do. First, provide privacy. Second, perform proper hand hygiene. And third, explain the procedure. Cranial nerve 1, olfactory, the sense of smell. So that is Katinko and I'll there conclude that that cranial nerve is complete and intact. Cranial nerve 2, optic, the sense of view. To test the optic nerve, we will be doing two tests. First, the confrontation visual field, and second, the visual acuity using the Snellen chart. The first thing we will going to do is to test the peripheral vision by doing the confrontation visual field test. And to do that, I will make my patient stand in front of me about arms sling away. So what you will gonna do is to look directly to my eye, not on my fingers, and she will gonna tell me how many finger she can see. So next, we will gonna do the visual acuity using the Snellen chart. So I will let my patient stand 20 feet away from the chart and read the lower line forming that she can read. So cover your right eye can do. D E F P O T E T. And now cover your left eye to do the same. D E F P O T E C. And next, read the chart with both eyes. D E F P O T E C. So she can read from line 8. So that means she has 20 20 vision, and that means she can see the same line at the letters that a person had normal vision to see at 20 feet. So, next, we will gonna do is to assess the cranial nerve 3, which is the culomotor, the cranial nerve 4, which is the trochlear, and the cranial nerve 5, which is the abducens. So the first we will gonna do is to look at involuntary shaking of the eye. So I will hold the pen light 12 to 14 inches away from her nose and she will keep her head still and let her eyes follow the pen light. So next we will gonna do is to see how reactive the pupil is. So I will gonna dim the light somewhat and let the patient stare at the object. So far they are both constricted. And next, I will use the pen light and move toward to her nose. Cranial nerve 6, which is the trigeminal nerve. So, what I'm going to do is to cleanse her teeth like bite down, and I'm going to feel the maxillary muscle. And there should be a nice preamble and feel the temporal muscle. Cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve check. So, close your eyes tightly. Cranial nerve 8, which is the vestibulocochlear nerve. So I will include one of her ear and whisper into the opposite side, and she will tell me what I said. Cranial nerve 9, which is the glossopharyngeal. So, I will test her guard reflex. Cranial nerve 10, which is the vagus. And I dare conclude that vagus is complete and intact because she can able to talk and swallow. Cranial nerve 11, which is the accessory nerve. So, Nicole, move your head side to side. So she did that. 
So I'll conclude that that cranial nerve is complete and intact. Cranial nerve 12, which is the hypoglossal nerve. So Nicole, you're gonna do you just stick out your tongue, move it side to side. So she did it. So I'll conclude that that cranial nerve is complete and intact.